All right, squad, this is a good one. The Federal Reserve is claiming that they are going to make it their mission to lower your wages. You make too much money. That's why inflation's running rampant. I, you couldn't make this up, I swear. Ready? Let's dive deep. So before we listen to Jerome Powell tell us how he's going to cut your wages, spending bill includes pay raises for staffers. Quick take, President Joe Biden signed a $1.5 trillion bill that funds the federal government and provides assistance to Ukraine. The bill increases the House office budget by 21% and will likely result in pay raises for staffers. So before we dive in this article, keep that in mind. Joe Biden, this article was published on March 16th gave all of the staffers that work for the United States government a 21% raise. Taking a look at emronline.com, US Federal Reserve says its goal is to get wages down. The chairman of the US Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, said that his goal is to get wages down. In a press conference on May 4th, Jerome Powell announced that the Fed would be raising interest rates by half a percentage and implementing policies aimed at reducing inflation in the United States, which is at its highest level in 40 years. According to the transcripts published by the Wall Street Journal, Powell blamed the inflation crisis, which is a global, not a proxy war on Ukraine and Western sanctions on Russia, but rather on US workers supposedly making too much money. Employees are having difficulties filling job openings and wages are rising at the fastest pace in many years, Powell complained. The Fed proposed solutions to bring wages down. There are more job vacancies than there are unemployed people in the United States. As the economy recovers from the C-19 pandemic, Powell claimed that this discrepancy between job vacancies and unemployment is due to high wages, which discourages workers from taking bad, low-paying jobs for a few benefits, and therefore give them too much power. Wages are running high, the highest they've ever ran in quite some time, said the federal chairman. Workers need to be disciplined by the labor market, he insisted. There's a path by which we would be able to have demand moderate in the labor markets and have, therefore, have vacancies come down without unemployment going up. Because vacancies are at such an extraordinary high level, there's a 1.9 vacancy for every unemployed person, 11 and a half month vacancies, 6 million unemployed people. Powell aims to do this by reducing wages. Are you going to lead by example, Jerome? Are you going to take a pay cut? I don't know where you live or what ivory tower you look down on the rest of us from, but we can barely afford to get by, buddy. I am making more money now than I've ever made in my life, and I'm living paycheck to paycheck. Federal Reserve has done nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing. They reacted too late. They print ungodly amounts of money, and now every one of you guys are paying for it. I've never thought I'd say that. I never thought I would want to live anywhere else. But when our when your government is stealing money, out of your bank account because they can't manage a budget and they wanted to spend $200,000 last year to do a case study at Yale University to determine whether male quail are more horny on cocaine. That's how our government's spending our money and that's why your gas is $5 a gallon. Not because employees get paid too much, because our government spends recklessly. They just gave every government employee a 13% wage. They legit two months ago just gave every politician, every government employee a raise, a 13% raise. This was when I, this one was on March 12th. Senators get pay raises for chairing a committee that only meets twice a year. The Senator's March 12th selection committee meeting lasted nine minutes. It's not fair that you have to pay 33% in taxes. You have to pay sales tax. You have to pay property tax. Then you have to pay this tax. And now they're talking about raising taxes. The government's made more money this year than they ever have in the history of the world, ever. Crazy, man. Drop some comments below and let me know what you guys think. Love you guys.